some of the things that you're seeing with flips and what risks are associated with those. And, you okay. know, there's a lot of positives about flips. You can oh, certainly get some great deals. Yeah. And, and some upgrades that maybe you wouldn't have the money to make yourself, et cetera, if you're buying. But there are risks both on the investor side yeah. and on the buyer's side to think about. Mm -hmm. On the investor side, you know, people want to save money. The whole purpose of doing a flip is to make a profit. That's right. So we cut corners wherever we can. Mm -hmm. We try to make this investment a good investment. And a lot of people that are flipping properties skip out on some of the things like, like what we do, inspections. Right. And I cannot tell you the number of horror stories I hear. Mm. I cannot count the number of times someone said, we should have had an inspection because so, so forth and so on. What happens is they didn't have the inspection. They didn't invest the $350, $400, maybe even $1,000 in finding out what's wrong with that property before they purchased it to flip it. Yep. Then they made it look real pretty. Yep. Then they they got a buyer in escrow and then that buyer found out something that they were totally unaware of. Yep. That buyer got a sewer line inspection and found out it's going to be $8,000 to fix this sewer line. Mm. You know, that buyer found a major foundation issue that they had no idea about. Mm -hmm. And so now they're stuck with this property that's not as valuable as they thought it was. And they've got to negotiate down this money in escrow. Yep. And it makes no sense if they had spent the money on the front end, $1,000, they could have saved themselves thousands of dollars. Amen. Amen, sister. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, I cannot agree with you more. I have seen this so many times now that it is starting, to, that it is really the cause and the reason that John and I decided we got we to gotta start talking to, to, to these folks about this because yeah. this is becoming a major problem for, I'm seeing uh, litigations that are coming up and You claims. sent me an article, a legal yeah. article recently oh, yeah. about it. Yeah, the, the, the California Association of Realtors and the... Uh, Crela, the legal and association. The, Kregel, the Crela, which is the, 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 the legal association, they're seeing more and more claims with this where there's you know, non-permitted, non-disclosure issues. And it's really unnecessary. It's like you don't have to go down that road yeah. if you just set yourself up properly in the front, and, on uh, the front end. Another good idea, if I were the one that was selling the property, is I would I would purchase the buyer a good home warranty policy right. as a closing gift. That's and I would right. say, here's something. It's just a little extra coverage. Yeah. And then on the buyer's side, if yeah. you're buying a property like this, just remember that it looks beautiful. Right. But that doesn't mean that it's in perfect condition. That doesn't mean that the work that was done on the property has been permitted properly. That's, that's right. It doesn't mean that the people who did the work on the property Property, we're properly licensed individuals to do the work that they're doing. So take precaution when you're purchasing that property. Search the public records, get warranties, get guarantees, find out any information you can via other prior inspection reports that you can have disclosed. Remember, there's probably little disclosure. Yeah. A lot of these properties right. were abandoned. They were foreclosed properties that are being purchased and flipped. Mm -hmm. Nobody lived in them. The investors certainly didn't live in them and they don't know what to tell you. That's they right. can't say, oh, the pipes rattled when we flushed the toilet or the, you know, this happened at night or that, you know, appliance was troublesome. They don't know. 